This is the Musikgebäude in Eindhoven. Nice modern facility, very nice. Big stage, lots of stuff and ting. Hello. Lovely. I've got my own dressing room, how lovely. Very nice room, complete with its own grand piano. Wish I could play it. Nice little balcony. There we go. So one thing that I've learned about the Dutch is that they are relentlessly nice. And this is outside the dressing room in the Music Gebouw in Eindhoven. There's a full catering thing upstairs, but this is just what's laid out outside the dressing room for us. Fantastic. Coffee machine, little fridge. Basically, I have no excuse for, perform for not performing well tonight. There, no pressure, but arrived in Eindhoven this morning. That's cruel and unusual punishment, but I shall pass it by. We're playing at the Music Gebouw here in Eindhoven city centre, and as ever is the case, always the case in Holland, the people are unremissingly nice. The food is lovely. But I left my toothbrush and toothpaste in the hotel last night, so I'm going to walk down to the supermarket and buy a new, a new one. Went through the market square. I'm actually glad not to be in a big city. It's nice to be somewhere that doesn't suffer from giganticism. There's a bit more into it. Although it's all pretty new. I don't think there's anything particularly old here, except me, obviously. But there we are. And as ever, I take you into catering for a comprehensive rundown on what we've got. Some very good looking salads. This was a veggie burger with broccoli and mushrooms that was delicious. Pre-show entertainment, the 12 hour race at Bathurst. Just started, this is lap one. It'll be finished 7.45 tomorrow morning. Okay, we're at the Concert Cabal Eindhoven in Holland. We're ready to go. I'm all geared up. I've got my in-ear monitors in the belt pack down here. And the lead goes up the back of my shirt, comes out the back of the collar. I like to have one ear in, one ear out. So my left ear, I have the monitor in, and that's when I hear the click and everything else that I have to listen to. My right ear, I don't have the, the ear, ear piece in. I like to hear the room. I like to get a sense of the weight of sound in the room. My guitar wireless transmitter is on the other side of my belt, plugged into the guitar. So I have to get all this strapped on and ready to go. And for the start of the show, on my Kemper, I've selected the correct sound. I, all I need to do is turn on the radio pack and unmute it because I have to walk on playing and I can't go on and choose a sound and set a pedal. I have to have it all set up before we start the show. So there, I'm good to go. Heads down, no nonsense, mindless prog. I'll see you at the end. Come out for a walk this morning in Eindhoven and I've found this and as a homage to my favourite YouTuber, Bald and Bankrupt, those who know will know, this is a mosaic on the front of some building or other. It's not Soviet, but it's a mosaic nonetheless. He would love it. I walked down with my bag on the bus. I noticed this yard, so I popped in on the way back. I like wood. I do a bit of wood turning. I like 
trees. I've been a tree hugger since long before it was fashionable. And I could see these things scattered around in here. I wonder what they are. Look at the fungus on this one. Hiking happiness. Okay, let's go and investigate that. A couple of repurposed containers, I guess. And more old tree trunks. Oh, let's see what happens. Don't see anything inside that container. That's rotted nicely, hasn't it? Been there a while. Can't see anything in that container. This tree was, it would appear, growing here. But not really growing anymore to any significant extent, although little plants have colonised it. So the dead tree will give life to this whole new plant system. And then this magnificent piece, look at this. <laughs> Shame I didn't come here last night. It looks like it might have been thriving and braving. Or not. There's some nice live edge shelves here. Well, somebody around here obviously likes wood. These were big trees. Ooh, there's a rotting pineapple inside that one. A story to be told, no doubt. Some little crab apples here. I presume off this tree. If I say intriguing, please excuse the bad pun. Eindhoven hotel room. Don't worry, you'll get as bored with these as I am soon. It's obvious what that is. On the seventh floor in a hotel, it's only got one lift working. Yes, I know I haven't made the bed. Don't trout. I know them, just like I pictured it. I'm going to have a wander later. The rain's supposed to stop about two o'clock. There we are. Ooh, nice sort of arty thing above the bed there. Okay, we're on a mission to find the Ministry of Silly Walks tunnel, and I think we found it. Only the Dutch would do this, and let's have a, sorry, an entire public tunnel under a railway line dedicated to the Ministry of City Walks. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, who would have thought of that? So we're stuck here in Eindhoven. 
We've had to check out of our hotel by 1 or 1.30. We've got some late checkout, which was a relief, but the bus doesn't leave till 9. We're driving overnight to Eindhoven, to Zurich. So I now have eight hours to kill on a slightly rainy Sunday afternoon in Eindhoven where everything's closed. Now I come to see the silly walk tunnel. So I'm going to go back to the bus, fetch a book. Yes, an old fashioned, you know, those things with pages and paper and words printed on paper. And I'm going to go and sit somewhere and have lunch and read a book. One of life's great joys. Well, that would appear to be the city walks tunnel. <laughs> Very interesting. There's not really that much graffiti. There's a couple of bits been scrubbed out there, but the basic. pictorial part of the tunnel has not really been damaged at all, has it? No vandalism, bits of graffiti, but uh, nothing can't be removed. And there we are, signed by John Cleese himself, it would appear. Can you imagine the city council in the UK agreeing to do that? I don't think so. So seeing the Ministry of City Walks Tunnel and this sculpture in the middle of Eindhoven has inspired a bit of a rant. You know I like my rants. My rant is this. If you did this in the UK, it would be trashed. It would be pissed on. It would be graffitied. It would be broken. It would just be trashed. And it makes me wonder what has gone wrong with the English psyche that makes us behave in this way why is it that we trash our own public spaces and we treat our own space with such contempt and I was talking to Sally about this and uh, she said yes what kind of resentment must these people have to do that and that's the key to it is the resentment you must really resent what's around you hugely to want to just piss on it or, or or trash it. And when I come to other countries, they have public art in all sorts of places and people don't trash it, they respect it. They may not necessarily like it, but they actually respect it. And the councils in those kind of towns, they put things in public places, not for any kind of profit motive, but just because it makes it a nicer place to be. And I think we in England have to look at ourselves very carefully and ask why it is that we just can't do that anymore. 